transportation state to state takes you to Washington, Nevada, California, and North Carolina to see what's happening on the front lines of transportation. We begin with a fascinating video captured with a drone by the Washington State Department of Transportation inside the SR-99 tunnel currently under construction beneath downtown Seattle. This massive tunnel will eventually extend two miles, replacing the Alaskan Way Viaduct. You'll see the larger-than-life tunneling machine built for the project named Bertha. I'm Julie Duell with NDOT News. NDOT has broken ground on the USA Parkway Extension Project that will connect I-80 to US-50 through Lyon and Story Counties. This exciting project by contractor Ames Construction will extend the parkway by more than 12 miles from here where the road currently ends to US-50 near Silver Springs. USA Parkway was originally a privately built six mile long road connecting I-80 to the Tahoe Reno Industrial Center, one of the largest industrial centers in the world and home to the Walmart Distribution Center, Tesla, FedEx, Zulily and many more businesses. The new 18-mile-long four-lane state roadway will have many benefits, including reducing travel times by as much as 38 percent for those traveling between I-80 and US-50. Known as State Route 439, the new roadway will further link the greater Reno-Sparks area with the US-50 corridor in Silver Springs. This will enhance mobility and create an additional route for commuter, freight and other traffic. The road will also help support economic development and serve as an additional route in case of emergency or weather-related road closures. Originally slated to complete in 2019, the project was fast-tracked and now will be open to traffic by late 2017. Hi, this is Lauren Wonder. Caltrans District 7 Public Information Officer. I'm standing in the middle of the closed 101 freeway near downtown Los Angeles. The freeway is closed for 40 hours while the city of Los Angeles is demolishing the 6th Street Bridge further down the road. During this 40-hour closure of US 101, Caltrans is taking this golden opportunity to do some intensive maintenance on this 2.5-mile segment of freeway. Caltrans is spearheading these swarm maintenance events to save taxpayer dollars and save workers' lives. In this particular swarm, we were able to save over $176,000 and 19 workdays. This is innovation at its best. Ronald, what's it like to work on this closed freeway? Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, you don't have to look over your back as far as traffic or anybody hitting you or anything. It's, we get a whole lot done. Here we are at the end of the day, and the contractor has made such good progress that they're actually going to complete this work four hours early. That means that we can reopen US 101. But while US 101 was closed for this demolition, our crews made the best of it. We're really grateful that those crews got to do their intensive maintenance without all the traffic whizzing by. This is Lauren Wonder for Caltrans News Flash. Welcome to this week's edition of NC Transportation Now. I'm Crystal Feldman. Investment in the state's rail infrastructure is a prominent part of Governor Pat McCrory's 25-year vision for transportation. This week, we're highlighting two projects that help fulfill that vision. 
First, NCDOT celebrated a significant milestone in its Piedmont Improvement Program, which is investing more than half a billion dollars to improve the heavily traveled rail corridor between Raleigh and Charlotte. The department held a ribbon cutting in Durham for the Hobson Road Grade Separation Project, which was the first Piedmont Improvement Program project to break ground in 2013. The project includes a new bridge carrying the tracks over Hobson Road to replace the existing street level crossing and closes the nearby Church Street crossing. It also features track improvements that will help reduce travel time by allowing passenger trains to pass slower freight trains on parallel tracks. Transportation and local officials also convened in Charlotte earlier this week to view construction of a similar project that includes a new bridge to carry Sugar Creek Road over the tracks, along with other rail and roadway improvements. Both of these projects are part of NCDOT's Sealed Corridor Initiative, which aims to improve the safety of the rail corridor between Raleigh and Charlotte by eliminating or improving rail highway street level crossings. Since 1993, more than 85 public and private crossings have been closed along this route. The state budget bill signed by Governor Pat McCrory this week provides additional investment to improve the state's rail infrastructure, as well as our ferries and general aviation airports. A comprehensive transportation network is critical to the governor's efforts to create jobs, grow the economy, and improve the quality of life for all North Carolinians. That's all for this edition of NC Transportation Now. As always, stay connected with us through Facebook and Twitter. That's at NCDOT. And from everyone here at the North Carolina Department of Transportation, safe travels.